Hey guys, Ryan Jordan here today. We're back again with another review. Took me forever to get back to my old review table. You want to know why? Uh, my review table actually broke. The cloth was all messed up. It, it was just a whole big mess. And also, if you couldn't tell, behind me, there's a lot of stuff behind me. You want to know why? Because um, I'm going to get into a little bit more detail why there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. But the r main reason why this whole playroom is taken up by a whole bunch of suitcases and stuff like that, it's actually because of water. Uh, uh, our toilet f flooded upstairs, and it actually leaked uh, where the um, spare room is. The spare room where I filmed the final episode of The Nothing. Uh, the big room with all the boxes and stuff. Yeah, that whole room was flooded. It was covered in water. Uh, but now it's all clean. Uh, probably later tonight, we're going to clean all the stuff out and everything will go back to the way it was. But, as a side, welcome back to another toy review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at... Marvel Legends Venom Carnage. Now... Do you guys remember the last time that I took a look at a Venom Hasbro figure? Let me, let me just show you a little clip how how that went. Yeah, that's right. I threw that figure against that wall right over there. Yeah, uh, good thing it didn't break and also the wall's perfectly fine. But anyway, let's go back to the packaging. Found this guy, EB Games. And this figure, when I got him out of the box... It, it's it's fantastic, okay? It's way better quality than the other piece of garbage that I reviewed. Um, if you also want to see that that video, um, it's called Nostalgic Toys. Uh, just search up Nostalgic Toys on my channel, and then the first video will come up. Um, anyway, so you see, you got Marvel, you got Venom, and I also like the background, how it's like a spider web. And you got the Legends series. And then on the back here, you got a nice picture of Carnage here with a nice purple smoke effect. And then you have like a little thing. There's a little bio. Uh, so you can read that if you really wanted to. And on the back here, you got the other figures there. You got, then you got the, uh, you got, you basically just got figures. You I may find a look. And also you get to build the Venom Deadpool. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully you can collect every figure maybe. Once he, uh, yeah, let's, I'm going to see if I can collect every figure to see what that is. And then you have a nice picture of Carnage here. Nice artwork. And then you have the exact same thing on the other side, with a bunch of things. Uh, but anyway, let's get on to the actual figure. Um, so let me just, uh, I'm not going to actually just yeet it like I always do, but I'm just going to hit another box. So let's move on to the figure. Okay, let's move on to the figure. Um, so uh, I guess we can move on to the accessories. You know what, let's actually take a look at the figure. Here he is. Here's Carnage. And actually, Carnage is one of my favorite symbiotes. Um, um, so, anyway. So, here's the figure. This is a very nice looking figure. It's a very nice looking figure. It has many poses of articulation. We'll get to that later. But, the detail on this figure is beautiful. I love how, because Carnage, his main color is red. And then you have like these bits of black webbing. Uh, symbiotes all coming around him and those aren't just printed on those are actually like you could actually feel all like the bumps and stuff on there it feels very realistic if that kind of makes sense then you have the back here with all the tendrils on there the tendrils are also very nice don't worry they're not just hard plastic they're um they're rubber so so you know you can pull and stretch on them i wouldn't pull too hard and also i'm pretty sure later on if you get this figure if you are going to find this figure or you already have this figure I would recommend probably not storing them in a giant box because those tendrils are going to bend up and it's not going to look the same. Uh, then you have the other tendrils on his arms there. And they're all just different tendrils. They're not all the exact same. They're all in different positions, positions and all that stuff. Very nice. Uh, head sculpt. Head sculpt for the figure. Probably my favorite head sculpt that I have. Um, and then you have the white eyes. The white is very nice. It's very smooth. And then on the back of the head, you got the nice little uh, tendrils coming back up there. Very nice. And then you have, you got like his, he's kind of like smiling a little bit. So that's pretty cool. His mouth doesn't open though, which is kind of a disappointment. Uh, when I, because this was not the head that actually came on the body when I, when I um, took it out of the packaging. It was actually on a different head sculpt. I'll show you that later. But 
And also, if you kind of look from the front, it kind of looks like he's smiling, but he also kind of looks like he's sticking his tongue out. So, you know. I also wish that the red on the tendrils were a little bit darker. I mean, and also, like, a little bit hints of black everywhere. That would be kind of cool. Um, anyway, so then you have the feet there, which is very nice. Just plain black, nothing too original. Then you have the nice butt there. That's also cool. And then all the tender, all the black in this is going to his uh, butt. And then, and uh, let's move on to the accessories. So let me just put them, just put them in the back here. He can't stand. Uh, it's kind of hard for him to stand though. There we go. And he's kind of leaning forward. That's the best pose I can do right now. Um, so the first accessory was this default head, and. I don't know what this is the def, this is the head that came on the head the body original and that head actually that was the original head I did not like this head the the other thing is um so I switched the heads out but but here he is he's got like the little swirl on there uh can somebody tell me what that is in the comments because I don't know what that is and his mouth is open and I also thought that his mouth would open and close and he's actually got kind of like a over uh like a um, underbite then you have this little hollow bit i mean it's not really noticeable when you actually put on the head but uh by itself it's kind of hard then you get the ball socket right there uh let's compare the heads here for a second so oops that head just fell uh so there it is so you got this one's more a little bit rounder this head is like it's still like it's a little bit rounder and the eyes are a little bit more wider and this one's a little bit more slant, and of course he doesn't have like this the symbol swirl, whatever you want to call it. And his his mouth is a little bit gaping open, so that's okay. And he still uh, he does have the gate uh, the gaping hole in there, but it it covers the neck covers it up, so that's okay. And then if you want to switch out the heads, you just have to you just have to pull it out. That's how easy it is. Then you have the ball joint right there. It's very simple. It's not too hard, and then if you want to get back on, you just have to kind of hold them. But this is what I like to do: just hold them like this, and they kind of push it in. There we go. And the other accessory, uh, well, I, I don't really think it's an accessory. It's just um, this is the head of Venom Pool, the figure that you can bind. And this this head sculpt is actually fantastic. And no, it does not fit on the ball joint on here. I tried it; it doesn't work. Anyway. But the nice ton here, the very nice purple ton, it's very smooth, and it's also very bumpy, so that's also cool. Then, I don't know if the camera pick, can pick it up. Hold on, let me just, uh, the camera's kind of focusing on the, there we go. There he goes, it's, the camera is not really, you can't really see it though. Uh, there we go. There you go. Now you can kind of see it. You can kind of see like Deadpool's mask material, and it actually feels like a real fabric. So that's also cool. And and you can see like the stitching on here. I I don't know if that's supposed to be like the goggles ripping open, but it, the mask is all turned up, and then you have the teeth and everything. Very cool. Oops. Very cool indeed. And then you have like the little hood thing, but that's okay. Uh, and that's also very nice. The tongue is also like a little. Uh, the tip here is a little very soft rubber, but the end is just like solid plastic now and the other accessory i don't know if you really would call this accessory this came out of the box as well um but you could detach the back here if you don't want the tendrils on the back prefer uh i prefer that it really does uh, i prefer the tendrils on the back so you know you got like the little uh the back here the backpack backpack uh kind of folds out a little bit but it, you won't really notice it. Like, from this side, you wouldn't really notice it. But if you turn it, like, slightly, then you're like, oh, that's a backpack. But, anyway. And also, like, kind of, like, the backpack edges kind of peek out at the shoulder bits. But that's okay. Now let's move on to the um, ro uh, articulation. So, articulation here. Uh, I can... I'm going to detach these tendrils because they're, they're going to get in the way. Throw it over there. So, for articulation... Uh, he's got a ball joint at the head, of course. So, you know, he can look all the way around 360, look side to side, and uh, so he can get a little bit up and down. And then for, uh, so he can look down really far and up really far. Then you can see the ball joint, but, you know, ah, just, 
I like to put it in the middle so it's kind of like he's like staring at you. And for the shoulders, the shoulders. And actually, they're very soft ratchet joints in this figure. The shoulder here. I don't know if you can hear that. There you go. You can kind of hear that. That's a soft ratchet joint. So then he's got um he's got a bicep swivel so that I can rotate all the way around as well. Then he's got a double bend the elbow. He's got a double bend at the elbow, so that's also cool. And then you have the little uh, shoulder pad there. It's the exact same thing on the other terrible Venom figure that I did a uh, review on. Then he's got a, um, there's no bicep swivel on this side. And also be careful with that because that's that joint right there. That's going to get loose eventually and it might break off. So just be careful with that. And then he's got like a hinge joint here. So you can kind of get some like limp wrist poses. And then you got a swivel there. And there's no different hands. I wish there's like different kind of hands on there. But the hand here, it's very nice. I really like the hand. Uh, like kind of like big meaty claws. This is the thing that I like with villains and all that. So, uh, got the exact same thing there. Oh! Oh, you got a butterfly joint! Oh, I did not know that. I literally just noticed that, like, right now. I was like, what is that? That's a butterfly joint right there, people. And I also love that it's not breaking the sculpt at all. Like, no matter which way you looked, it's not breaking the sculpt. And if what, what I mean by that is that Usually when they have a butterfly joint, you can usually see inside the figure and also the joint, but that is brilliant right there. Good job, Hasbro. You did not mess up a figure this time. Then you got the exact same thing on the other thing, and uh, I'm always... Uh, this this hand, when you bend it, it's a little bit more... Um, kind, of, kind of more tight than this one. Everything's perfectly fine. You got, like, the exact same thing. For legs here... Oh, well, actually, though, we just spread his... Um, He's got a, he's got a um, ab crunch, but it's kind of like a hinge joint, and also that's a soft ratchet joint. Let me see if you can hear that. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, then you have another ratchet joint. Yeah, that's a ratchet joint as well. Uh, waist swivel ratchet joint, very nice. And um, then you have a, a, he can kick that he can kick that far. And move back that, uh, well, he can't that far and move back that far. Uh, and then you gotta swivel on the, whatever that's called on the knee. Forgot what that's called. Then you got the, uh, double bend of the knee. Very nice. There's no black on the things, but, uh, unlike the other things where there's actually, like, black and it actually kind of works, this just has, like, double, like, it just plain, uh, white. Then you got another swivel there. Which is why, but that's okay. Then you have a hinge joint at the feet. So you can kind of move the feet. Uh, he does not come with a stand with this figure at all. He does not come with a stand. But basically what I like to do is just uh, I kind of try to move his legs a little bit. Try to get him in like a nice position. Um, then, and then you kind of have to like bend his feet a little bit. And then, you know, uh, it's kind of hard for like the... Um, the legs to move. Sorry that Oreo's Oreo's barking in the background. Um, but there we go. Uh, it's kind of hard. You kind of have to give him like a forward pose, which it's definitely fine. It's not like what I would like, but later on, I think that I could probably get him in a decent pose. So, guys, uh, sorry about Oreo barking, but this is the end of the video anyway. So, so. Uh. Thank you guys for tuning in to another review. So if you guys like this, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like my channel. Do whatever. I don't really care. But bye, guys.